Hello viewers, I'm so excited that you have tuned in to today's uh, telecast of uh, Hope in Heaven's devotional re uh, reflection. My name is Today Dada, pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family in Luton. In our Open Heaven's uh, reflection of today, we're looking at the topic, say yes to God, say yes to God. Our text for today is taken from Acts chapter 10, from verse 9 to 16. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry and would have eaten. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven open and a certain vessel descending upon him as it had been a great sheet neat at the four corners and led down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. And memory verse for today is taken from John chapter 10, verse 4. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. In our reflection today, the experience of Peter in the Bible passage, which we have read, is very, very instructive. The Lord showed him a vessel or a basket full of what he should not eat to him. And his answer was, no, Lord. I have always explained that statement was, con that statement was contradiction in, in, in terms. You know what? You cannot say no to your Lord and Master. As a beloved of God, you must learn to say yes, Lord, to all of God's instruction. Quite a number of us have lost opportunities for starting large ministries due to their refusal, you know, to say yes, Lord. God is not satanic and God is not static. When heaven moves, it takes those who can drop their old beliefs and dogmas to move to the next level with him. One major change ever experienced was the movement from the Old Testament to the New Testament. While most of the leaders in the synagogue resisted change and stuck to the Mosaic law, others who embraced the change became born again and began to enjoy the grace and truth that the Lord brought. Do you say yes or no to the promptings of the Spirit? Yield to him today, my brother and my sister. The comforting thing is that the one who is leading us is the one who is the sovereign God. And he has our past, our present, and our future in his hands. He's the only wise God. He's the maker of heaven and the earth. Hence, he knows what he is doing and he knows where he is taking you and I. You know what? He wants us to trust him completely. And so to say yes to the Lord is to say that, Lord, I trust you. You have my future in your hands and you are able to do all things. My brother and my sister, is God calling you to the ministry? Is God asking you to do something that you think is impossible? Why don't you just say yes to the Lord and watch him do that which only he can do? I keep on it. When God wants something from you, what he expects to hear is yes, Lord. What is your response today? Always say yes to him. Whatever he's asking you, why don't you just say, yes, Lord, I submit. 